part two of super undervalued coins. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to All Coin Picks. You guys are awesome, man. Last time I made a video, I spoke about mentioning one website that I think is helpful for any crypto user. So this time I'm bringing you Crypto Delver, CryptoDelver.com. So it actually lists all the coins just like Coin Market Cap, but they have a few extra features. And this is mostly about listing coins. They have a option, a more detailed option for gainers and losers, master of coins, and the newest coins, which I actually like, because sometimes you bought something in ICO and it's not listed there yet. So you guys should check this website out. So I'm just gonna dive straight into our undervalued coin. So I'll start with the weakest and then I'm gonna go with the last one, which I think it's, it's gonna be pretty awesome. You guys should find out. So for our first pick, we have buy box token. So the buy box token was meant to be used in the buy box exchange, which is an intelligence transaction platform aimed at maximizing returns. So for some good pointers, I list that it is a fast exchange, it is decentralized, they accept multi-currencies, such as the Chinese one, the Hong Kong dollar, the Euro, and the N. That is actually great. Four different currencies, not just USD and USDT tether, which makes a huge difference there. Then you have a personalized risk management center, which I haven't found out all the things they're offering there they but they also have leverage trading and lending the only platform that i use besides buy box that has those features used to be poloniex but i haven't been in poloniex quite a quite a for quite a while and then they have they plan in the future to list security tokens which if they start being listed they could actually change the way we trade cryptocurrencies so here are the pros many coins out there that are this new don't even have a working product yet buybox already has a high volume exchange and just to give you guys perspective it's listed at number 22 at 42 million poloniex is at number 19 with 45 million so that's big they also have something else that i really like that is similar to Qcoin, they quickly list new coins. Something that Binance and Bittrex have been a little slow about. And Buybox, their, their token has a quarterly burn and a buyback program with their proceeds. So for cons, any coin linked with an exchange, such as the Buybox token, has no utility outside that exchange and second the token has very little utility besides paying for fees i do know it has a quarterly burn and they have a buyback program but there is other exchanges out there that offer a lot more for what the coin can do in that particular exchange so let's take a look at the coin metrics right now so ico was 17 cents and the current price is 42 cents. So it already has a solid support there. But the, what surprises me is the all time high was $4 and it only had about one month's time before the entire market started crashing for it to heat to for it to reach that price, which from the current value is already 10 times. If this becomes a competitor to a Qcoin, Qcoin at its all-time high had more than $1 billion market cap. Just for it to be a decent competitor to Qcoin, this can easily do 10 times, maybe even possibly 20 times as a good competitor to Qcoin. I see great future for buy box, and you guys should keep an eye on this. But there's another exchange, and I'm just going to talk about it a little bit, that you guys should keep an eye on. So cost is the next exchange you should be looking into. So they had a recent 
complete overall of, of their whole appearance, which now it actually is a very clean exchange. When it was launched, it looked terrible. So now it's actually a very presentable exchange. They do suffer from a low volume exchange, but once they release their fiat gateway, this can change. And if you look at their current value and their all-time high, and their all-time high was just based on the entire market going parabolic. But the moment their fiat gateway is open, maybe 299 is actually justified. You guys should keep an eye on that one. And for our next coin, we have Stack. So Stack is another payment solution. But, but this is what I like about Stack. It allows users to make payments using cryptocurrency and the vendors don't even have to accept crypto as a form of payment. So here's a list of pros. And this is their biggest pro is that they already have a MasterCard partnership, which means that in any location that accepts MasterCard, they will accept Stack, which at the current moment is over 200 different countries. That is just amazing. And for second, vendors won't have to deal with the constant hassle of cryptocurrency volatility and their complexity. They won't have to make, they don't, they won't have to be clear for gains or losses while filing for taxes. And they also won't be responsible for transaction fees, which a few months ago were the reason why so many businesses started to refuse accepting crypto as a form of payment. And I believe this is actually a good way of breaking that barrier for mass adoption by bringing the solution to the market instead of the other way around. On our third pro, the Stack Wallet can store up to 10 different currencies, including fiat currencies. And you can choose which coin out of your portfolio is outperforming in any given time, and you can use that to make a payment. On fourth, they're the first of its kind to be able to target North America, because we all know what happened with 10X, Monaco, and let's not even get started with where, where Centra was headed. So here's the list of cons. So con number one is that the stack token was designed to pay for fees. So there will be no dividends and down the drain goes their incentive for it to gain value. And number two is the stack competitors such as 10X and Monaco, they are already listed in far better exchanges and they have a stronger presence and a market valuation. So traders, they usually target higher volume currencies. And since the stack token is so new and has such low volume, the only reason why anyone will purchase stack will be for, for, for them to use stack, making it unappealing for traders. So let's look at some coin metrics. So the price of stack during ICO was 20 cents and the current price is around 4 cents. Just from ICO to the current price, it's already so low. An all-time high was 31 cents. So just for it to get there from the current price to all-time high, it's almost nine times. So there's already some weedy solid multipliers right there. And if you compare it to to any other payment solution that has at least succeeded in, in generated some high volume, there is some good multipliers. So if it reaches 10X or even Monaco, you're looking at far more multipliers than nine, 10 times. You're looking at 20, maybe even 50 times gains if Stack becomes a used payment solution. So I hope you guys are are keeping an eye on Stack. Do read their white paper. I really enjoy Stack. I think Stack is a solid coin, very early, still just a prototype. Don't need to FOMO, just to make a solid decision. Do your own research. I will reserve the last coin for another video since I think it's a, the video is a little long. I will release it tomorrow. You guys just keep an eye on this. If you guys have any comments or any coins that you guys would like me to review, just make a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.